Hey guys, welcome back to the series on Synthedit. Today I'm going to cover third-party modules. Synthedit has a bunch of built-in modules, but sometimes these may not be what you're looking for. There are a lot of third-party modules online that you can use to further customize your projects. Many of these you'll have to pay for, but there are also many for free. Now, to check out a list of people supplying modules, go to synthedit.com slash modules. A few of these links are outdated, but most are still good. So let's go to Christian's page. All of his modules are free. I'm going to get his phaser module, so scroll way down here and download this. Inside the archive I just downloaded, we have a couple files. All you need to do is copy the dav underscore phaser dot sem file and go to the folder where you installed Synthedit. Inside the Synthedit folder, there's another folder called Modules. Inside this folder, create a folder and call it Third Party. Any custom modules that you place in this folder will show up inside Synthedit under the Insert option. You can create folders inside here to further organize your modules. So I'll create another new folder and call it Phaser. And I'll put the Phaser SEM inside of it. Now when I run SynthEdit, the Phaser module will be included. So here we are where we left off in the last video. If I right click and go to Insert, and down to Third Party, my Phaser folder is there. Click on Phaser. Now we can use this Phaser module in our projects just like the built-in modules. I'll copy and paste another one, and delete the cords between the VCAs and the I.O. mod. I'm not going to leave these phasers here, but I just want to show you the phaser in action. So I'll connect the output plugs of the VCA modules to the input plugs of the phaser, and the outputs of the phaser modules to the I.O. mod. Right-click the first phaser and select Properties. Here I'll change the depth to 75% and I'll leave everything else the way it is. Now, when I play something, you can hear the phaser. Let me turn off the LFO, it kind of masks what we're hearing. So there you go, a third-party phaser that we've added to our project. There are lots of great modules that you can add, so I suggest going through all those links on the Synthedit site and finding some new stuff to mess around with. I'm going to go ahead and delete this phaser and hook everything up the way it was because I don't want to include a phaser, at least not yet, and definitely not right there. As it was, you could never bypass the effect, which is something we'll look more into later. So thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.